Hi, I'm Siddharth Azra. I'm a software engineer at Geeks for Geeks. So in this competitive programming course or in your journey, you would see me along in this course and you we would get to know each other. So before we start off, let us first discuss why in competitive programming. So basically, competitive programming is all about problem solving. So we are setting for a technical job and why are we so concerned about problem solving in this era so basically problem solving is everything in a software engineering so let's say in the company you are working they were using a tech stack let's say x now they are moving to a new tech stack that is y you already knew the tech stack that was used before but now you need to adapt the new environment and you need to start learning that thing and using that to solve all the problems in your company or basically develop new features but 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 you would encounter new errors from a new technology and now you need to start battling with that and in that problem solving is the most integral part of it problem solving is not just what it is said about basically it is the core of doing everyday task on a software engineer role so competitive programming not only gives you this so suppose you are in a contest and you got a wrong answer but in most of the contest you won't be given the test case where you are wrong so now you need to debug the program on your own you need to think of the test case that might be possible and that test case is failing on your program so you learn the art of debugging not only learn the art of debugging but also with a time constraint on it basically you know that yes i need to solve up this wrong answer to a accepted verdict in as soon as possible so that i would be ranked above in the rank list so you are debugging and that too we are debugging with a person standing out that you need to do fast so basically you would perform much better with a constraint that is given next there is not only this next your implementation is as fast as possible to your extent why because suppose you thought of a solution and that solution uses the algorithm x y z so now basically let us say that person 1 has thought of this algorithm and person 2 has thought of the same algorithm now the game lies or the rank list or the ranking lies over the implementation time so you need to be absolutely fast in your implementation and you should be as correct as possible so that you won't get into errors or something moving forward not only this it teaches you discipline why because the contest suppose it is starting off at 8 so you won't be delaying off and you would be starting off at 9 basically it is there at 8 so you need to start before it you need to sit before it you need to warm up do some simple problems and you need to start off at 8 it gives you the sense of discipline so next time when you are setting for an online assessment you won't be worried about that i need to wake up i need to set an alarm no dude you don't need to do that you already have that thing in your mind you are already trained in that manner that you would be doing it next it gives you a life why because not only this suppose you saw a problem and you are battling with that problem and now you went off you are doing something else other than programming still you are stuck in that problem so it gives you a lifestyle that you are always thinking about that problem let's say suppose in a contest you are giving a 2 hour limit most of that i'm talking about the average case so you are given a 2 hour limit suppose you were able to solve the three problems and the fourth problem you got stuck you tried every possible ways you got desperate in that desperation you had an appetite that yes what is the solution so what are the two things that you have acquired the two things that you have acquired is you have acquired an appetite you know all the possible solution that might lie i know it is not the correct one but still you have thought of every possible way now when you would see the solution you would be amazed 
that yes i have learned something new so every contest would teach something if you are solving five problems and the timer got ran out you would learn that i need fast accuracy you got a lot of wrong answer then you got an ac you need a fast accuracy you ran out of time then you need speed you were not able to solve a particular problem then you need to learn so every contest would tell you requirement by yourself basically you won't require a mentor after a certain period of time the contest would direct you that yes this is needed that is needed okay fair enough so competitive programming is a teacher in itself after a certain period of time and it is like giving contest after a certain period of time you would replace it with playing contest trust me you would do it so let's see how far you can battle and i know that you would be a warrior till the end of this course thank you